and Finch is still hanging in there. I closed the windows up above, but it didn't help too much. Poor guy. I don't think the water is coming in as hard as it was because the place where it holds the seed was a moment ago almost completely overflowing with water. And now it's somewhat drained. But it looks to be rising a little above, so maybe Closing the windows did help from getting actually into the heater. It's hard to tell with the water going down the glass like this. It's been raining like this now for about 12 minutes straight and he hasn't moved from the feeder the whole time. Every once in a while he might shake off or crawl a little bit to the left or the right. One time he went all the way around to the other side. But he's pretty much been in this, the same position the whole time. A moment ago I heard a, what I thought to be a dove. There's some lightning, which doesn't seem to affect him. But I heard a, a dove a moment ago and I'm wondering where they are. Always wondered what birds do in the rain. I guess they go wherever they can to stay dry as best as they can. He has his head so far underneath there. There he goes, adjusting himself a little. But it's like he's, he's leaning as far as he can with his head underneath there. If you can see that. He doesn't seem to be bothered by me. I'm sure he could hear me trying to close the window. if he flew off the fly at this moment, there's no way. They would, the rain would just knock him down. We have other finches, but they're nowhere to be found. Probably his view right here, looking in the eaves. really coming down again. Should have put the feeder on this side. It doesn't seem the like the water's coming down as bad on this side of the window. I 
much. I want to hear some kind of chirping out there. Honestly, I don't think it's as wet if he was maybe under the branch of that palm tree. Or somewhere under the porch over here. Even inside the boat somewhere. I don't know, I guess wherever they are when it starts raining, that's just where they stay. Thank you.